billions of dollars on campus improvements, all the while having to mull over budget cuts. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina checked out one major renovation to see the progress made for local students. How it looks today is construction crews add paint and move beams into place. There's also an artist's conception of what the Kearney High School of Engineering, Innovation and Design will look like when complete. You can see the students on the perimeter are working on 3D engineering and design models um, using CAD software. Um, the interior space is a flexible space that kids can work on um, collaborative processes. Voters have approved huge bond measures in recent years. $1.3 billion spent so far, with more than $3 billion earmarked for more upgrades and new facilities. All with an eye toward creating leaders. This is really about kids actually learning by doing, learning by designing, learning by um, working together collaboratively, hands-on. Um, and it's, it is really a high-tech environment. It's preparing kids for the careers of the future. But while there's excitement about these new innovation centers, there's also concern about impending budget cuts. Different budgets for building classrooms versus staffing them with teachers. We've got a structural deficit in our district. We need to take care of that structural deficit, but we're going to do it in a way, for instance, that we're not going to see class sizes increase. We're going to make sure that uh, it's all hands on deck in the classrooms. There will be cuts at the top, uh, and there will be some tough uh, you know, decisions that we have to make. Stay tuned. Steve Fiorina, 10 new. Other projects on tap include the $115 million rebuild of Central Elementary and Wilson Middle Schools in City Heights. And that plan includes adding a new theater as well as a huge park. In Logan Heights, money will be spent on creating a 20-acre super campus between Logan Heights Elementary and Memorial Middle School. We're keeping an eye on what the school board discusses tonight. We will have new developments on 10 News at 11.